Today we're going to create a list view item from scratch and the first thing we want to do is select new project and make sure Windows form application is selected and give it a meaningful name like uh, list view say 01 and click OK and we get an initial form. I drag this out to make it a little larger. And the first thing we want to do is put in a split container. And the reason for that is I want to do a dock and container of a list view to make it as large as possible and still have a button area that we can press. So I drag over a split container and initially the orientation of a split container is horizontal like this so we want to go over to the uh, properties pane and select orientation horizontal and then drag the bar separating the two panels down pretty far so that the uh, the buttons can uh, have a small area and the list view can have the larger area. And then go over to uh, list view and drag it over to panel 1. And on the common uh, tasks selector select uh, dock and parent container. And that way the list view will fill the entire container. and let's give this a meaningful name like uh, LSV demo and the first thing we want to do is create a series of headers for the list view and to do that we want to access the columns collection so click on the uh, ellipse and we'll get the column header collection editor and then add the uh, first header and we don't really care about the name that much because we're not accessing it so we just want to change the text to something uh, relevant to the data we're going to display and since it's just demo data we'll say main column and make this about 200 pixels wide and we don't want to click OK because we want to add some more so on column header 2 we'll put the text as uh, uh, secondary data one maybe I'll copy that and then make this 200 and then add again and do a paste and just change this to a two say make this 170 I think we might be running out of space and then paste again make this 3 and make this 172 and then click OK and you notice we don't see any column headers and that's because we need to change one more thing in the uh, property pane we need to change the view from large icon to uh, details and now you see the the column headers show up nicely in this now we want to add a button 
that actually adds data to these columns. So I'll select a button and drag it down to panel 2. And give it a text of uh, add data or add row. That sounds better. Since we're, it's really a row of data, much like the XY tables in uh, SQL. Give this a meaningful name of uh, btn add row. And make the font a little more visible. Give it about a 14. And stretch this out enough that we can see it. And then probably the best way to do this is to to uh, center this uh, horizontally and then center it vertically. And what it interprets at is is center it horizontally and vertically within this pane. So it'll be nicely centered at the bottom of the screen. And now we want to double click on this button to go to the event handler for it. And we need to, to uh, create a couple classes and a couple objects we're going to instantiate on the classes uh, in order to fill in the data rows. And the first class is uh, list uh, view item. So we can go down. I just call it LVI. And the second one is a sub item of this class. It's also a class though. So it's uh, list view item dot list view sub item. We'll call this LVSI. And then the property of the LVI we want to initially access is the main column which is like the real data so to speak so we say LVI dot text and say main data Oh, before we say that, good grief, this is an object, so we need to uh, instantiate it. So say LVI equals new list view item, which creates it on the uh, heap. Notice we're getting an error because we hadn't instantiated the object yet. And now we need to do the same thing with LVSI for the second column. And once we've established a text for the list view item, list view sub item, we need to add it to the list view item. So it's something that's sort of tacked on as additional data. So we need to do an LVI dot sub items dot add. And then do uh, LVSI. And essentially we need to do this identical thing three times. 
So we can just copy this. And even though it's the same variable name or same object name, we're actually getting different data because it's being allocated on the heap. So we do a copy and then a paste and do that again and then add, call this uh, secondary data 2 and secondary data 3 and then what we need to finally do is take our actual list view which is uh, LSV demo and then do a items had to type the whole thing out add of the LVI so we sort of built this structure that has several substructures added to it and then add that whole thing to the list view and this is all within the button event handler so if we save this and then compile and run it go down and press uh, add row you see the data appears actually we got two Oh no, we've only got one because the one above, ironically, has the same name. It's the column headers, but it's the, the same as the data. So if we press it again, say two or three times, you see we get the data added to the uh, columns, nicely formatted and everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot. Uh, the list view is extremely useful if you're dealing with structured data like tables and uh, for instance file info and directory info statistics like we've been looking at in the last few videos. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe.